all type of knowledge ultimately means self knowledge. Mm -hmm. So therefore, they are coming in to, I mean, for, and ask me to teach them not so much of how to defend themselves or how to do somebody in, rather. They want to learn to express themselves through some movement, be it anger, be it uh, determination, or whatsoever. When my father came to the United States, his training had been in Wing Chun. And then when he started teaching, he called what he taught Jun Fan Kung Fu, because Jun Fan is his given name. So it was like Bruce Lee's Kung Fu. But it was essentially Wing Chun. His first student was Jesse Glover. He was an African-American man. Taki Kimura, who was a Japanese man. He really took on anyone who had a real desire to learn. His school was very revolutionary in that way. My type of martial arts, more and more I believe, how to make good use of yourself. In early 1965, he had opened his second school in Oakland. He was part of a community of martial artists who were really interested in playing with tradition and really talking more about what works as opposed to staying within the lines of form. Because of style, people are separated. They are not united together because styles became law. Already he had Jun Fan Gung Fu, so he was going around touting this all the time. And he had an open door policy and was teaching this to anyone. The San Francisco Chinatown community did not appreciate that. They were the old guard and they wanted to shut him down. They issued a challenge to him and they said, we're gonna bring over our champion and we wanna fight you. And if you lose, you have to stop teaching. I was born in Oakland's Chinatown, and I started to study Kung Fu at a very young age, and the master, Jack Man Wong, had this mythical fight with Bruce Lee. So I remember hearing people say, hey, our teacher fought with Bruce Lee. You know, that was really just mind-blowing. I have no fear of opponent in front of me, that I am very self-sufficient, they do not bother me, and that should I fight, I have made up my mind, and that's it, baby. After the fight, even though he had won, he was very disappointed. He was winded, and his traditional rigid training had not prepared him for a fight of this nature. Out of that, he decided to do away with his traditional training. Because I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as like a Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting because unless human beings have three arms and four legs, we will have a different form of fighting. And he literally studied boxing, the simplicity of it, fencing for the ability to bridge the gap quickly, but also Newtonian physics. He studied biomechanics and kinesiology. And so he was really revolutionary in just looking at the human body and saying, if I want to optimize this for combat, what do I do? If it is a sport, now now you're talking about something else. You have regulations, you have rules. But when you're talking about fighting as it is, no rules. with no rules, no, no fighting. well then, baby, you better train every part of your body. Bruce Lee's a smart fighter. It's not just a good fighter because I think in martial arts, some people train so hard to be strong, but they don't know actually in a fight. It's the mind that needs to be better than the skill. Here is the natural instinct, and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony. One of his students was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who was, you know, over seven feet tall. And from working with him and training with him, he gained a huge new perspective in how he would have to change his approach to encounter someone like that, and then how to also teach someone whose body is that way. When you want to move, you're moving. And when you move, you are determined to move, not taking one inch, not anything less than that. If I want to punch, I'm going to do it, man, and I'm going to do it, you see? He wanted to bridge the gap between thought and action, to be so in tune with your instincts that you are expressing yourself honestly right now. He really saw himself as an individual guide to his students to say, how do you want to express yourself as a fighter? I can show you what I know, but ultimately, you have to test it and figure out what works best for you. 
here I am, you know, as, uh, as a human being. How can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know? I mean, that way, it's a process of continuing growth.